All right, so continuing with our study there, uh, considering, again, order of operations, right? Uh, no parentheses, no, again, no grouping symbols. So we go straight to exponents. 12 squared means 12 times 12, which is 144 minus 44. We're going to bring that part down, which gives us a nice, cool 100. Pause, head into class kick. Your turn. So you should have already worked this one. All righty, so the 3 cubed. 3 times 3 times 3. So notice it's not squared, it's cubed. Uh, that is the number 27 minus, and bring down the 2 plus, two plus 3, where there's 5. 27 minus 5 is 22. Continue for a, another example from me. All right, down to some square root fun. Again, no, no number written here, right? Uh, so the index is automatically uh, defined as 2. So that means we're looking for just the square root. Uh, so the square root of 81, what number times itself makes 81? That's 9 times 9, right? So the square root of 81 is the number 9. Pause, head into class, kick. Got another one for you. Now you have that whole sheet full of these, so hopefully you've been doing some memorizing here. Square root of 256 is 16. So 16, right, times 16 equals the square root of 256. So again, 16 is the answer we're looking for. Continue for another example from me. All right, a little bit of compound fun here. Uh, so we are looking for the cube root of 8 minus the square root of 81. Cube root of 8, that's 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, right? I'm going to write it out that way. 2 times 2 times 2 minus the square root of 81. That's, that's really 9 times 9. So we have 2 minus 9, which is negative 7. There you go. Pause, head into class, kick, work one more, and come back here to check it. Well, here's a fun one. So uh, we're going to work these one piece at a time. I'm going to deal with the parentheses there first. So 4 times the cube root of 27 plus, so let's do 5 minus 10. That's negative 5. We're going to come back and square that here in just a second. All right, so continuing, 4 times the cube root of 27 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. So 4 times 3 plus, and then negative 5 squared. Hopefully you remember that negative times negative positive, so that's a positive 25. Continue the order of operations. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 25, grand total of 37. Uh, so finish up your homework. That is the worksheet. You've got several done right here.